Whoever said it doesn't rain in Southern California hadn't been out to Fontana this past weekend when Mother Nature played havoc with the schedule and the Auto Club 500 was run over the course of two days. It took the green flag on Sunday and after several tries to get the track back into shape on Sunday night, NASCAR was forced to resume the race on Monday and for Carl Edwards, he didn't mind the wait. He went to victory lane on Monday in the rain-delayed race and picked up his eighth career NASCAR Spring Cup checkered flag in the Auto Club 500. He passed Jimmy Johnson with 13 laps to go, and Edwards gave Roush Fenway Racing its fourth straight win in the event. And for Edwards, it was the exact way he wanted to start the season. I hope this is a sign of how our season's going to go, but if there's one thing we've learned is that we've got to stay on top of it. We've got to keep working just as hard as we have. Um, it's a, it, there are very minor differences between the cars that are winning these races and the cars that are running fifth or sixth. So uh, we've got to just keep on top of it. But it's, it's a great way to start. I hope we keep going like this. Johnson and his Hendrick Motorsports teammate Jeff Gordon finished second and third to bounce back from their disappointing start to the season a week ago in the Daytona 500. And Johnson says he was pleased with the way the new car of tomorrow ran at the track and believes he and Gordon and the rest of the Hendrick team can catch up the ground they lost by their bad start to the season. We learned a lot about the cars and made a lot of ground. Um, so I'm, I'm very thankful to uh, you know, the effort Chad's put in and, and also the 24 team and, and how our teams work together. Um, Jeff went out in practice on Friday and was at the top of the board, very, very happy with this car. And we we're able to put the same stuff in and go out and run uh, you know, second and third with them and, and keep pace and run you know, with them all day long. NASCAR did their best on Sunday night after several red flags and rain delays to try to get the race restarted, but there was just too much moisture in the air and on the racetrack, and Gordon tipped his cap to the effort NASCAR put in to try to get the race finished on its scheduled day. In their defense, you know, I give them credit for putting every effort into trying to get this race off last night. I mean, they, they were bound and determined to start this race at 10 or 11 o'clock last night if they felt like they could have, but they couldn't. It, it just The moisture in the air, you know, it cooled down. It, they, they just couldn't get it dry. I mean, it would have been, I don't know if they would have kept working on it if we would gotten it dry by 3 a.m. So, you know, I, don't, I, don't, I think that they actually did the fans a favor, it, even though I know they were upset. You know, I think that they gave them every best effort to run this race last night and yesterday. Kyle Busch came home fourth in the Interstate Batteries Toyota, and Matt Kenseth, who was shooting for his third straight win in the Auto Club 500, rounded out the top five. The weekend was not a good one for several contenders who were caught up in accidents on Sunday during the first portion of the weekend of racing, including Dale Earnhardt Jr., who got caught up in an early accident with Casey Mears and Sam Hornis Jr. Also, Denny Hamlin slid and hit the wall in his FedEx Toyota blaming the moisture on the racetrack to knocking him out of contention. Kyle Busch, who also leads the Craftsman Truck Series point standings and is second in the Nationwide Series, leads the Spring Cup Series after two races. Ryan Newman is second, six points behind, followed by Tony Stewart, Kurt Busch, and Edwards as the Spring Cup Series heads to Las Vegas Motor Speedway for Sunday's UAW Dodge 400. We have much more from Fontana here at RacingOne.com, including complete results, more statistics, photos, and much more. And stay with us all week as we count down to race number three of the 2008 season next week out in Vegas. For Racing One Cast, this is Pete Pistoni reporting.